This is 219 News Now, brought to you by Strachan Van Til, making lives easier for 94 years. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this is your 219 News Now. Housing prices in Hammond have gone up a whopping 82% in the last five years. Due in part to an influx of Illinois residents, Hammond has emerged as a destination for starter homes, people looking to commute, and those looking for a bargain on historical homes. The Association of Realtors says that the median price in Hammond was $92,000 in 2018 and $168,000 in 2023 when a four-bed, four-bath home near Purdue Northwest sold for a record $615,000. Valparaiso University's celebration of Martin Luther King Jr. Day this year focused on the power of resilience, a theme that may have also applied to the MLK March in Hammond. In the indoor celebration at Valpo, President Jose Padilla gave the Drum Major Instinct Community Award to Vanessa Allen McLeod, head of the Urban League. We're commemorating those who fought, bled, and died so that we can vote, McLeod said. Meanwhile, Hammond celebrated with a march from MLK Freedom Center to the Civic Center in minus 10 degree temperatures. That didn't stop Ted Burke of Highland and his son Hunter. The Elder Burke marches every year, he said, to support and come together as a community. And in sports, the race in the Doonland Athletic Conference heats up with Chesterton hosting the port. Here's a look at that game. Chesterton looks to bounce back after two straight losses. The Trojans seeking their first win in league play as they host Laporte, who is coming off a loss in its previous contest. We'll start things in the third. Trojans looking to jumpstart the offense, and Tyler Parrish brought the cables. The senior attacks and throws down a big-time jam, home team chipping away. Laporte not backing down, though. Dylan Salisbury drives and dumps it off to Destin Matsky, who lays it in. Slicers back up five. Chesterton still hanging around, though. Parrish sharing the wealth now, connecting with Rob Zernicki. The sophomore spins, takes the contact, getting the hoop in the harm he completes the three-point play final moments of the game Chesterton with a three-point lead and Justin Sims turns defense into offense the senior with the steal and the slam Laporte though would cut it to three again the slicers need a triple to force OT in their final possession and they cannot convert the Trojans pull one out of the fire for their first Doolin win Chesterton wins 67-64 to see the full version of that story, visit Twitter, Facebook, and JedTV.com. For all other local headlines, head to NWI.com. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this has been your 219 News Now.